What's up, Outlaws? How is everybody today? Hey, I appreciate you very much. Do me a favor. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. Pause it now, do it. Send me a comment. As a matter of fact, comment on everybody's comment so that I can get back in this algorithm. I was there and they bumped me out. Dang YouTube. I wish you'd be my friend. I'd like to be your friend. Why can't we be friends? Let's talk about CQB. All right. Somebody's going to argue with me about this and it's okay. Argue with me in the comments. Just tell me about it. Here's how I kind of viewed military history as a whole, okay? Pre 9-11, I was a, you know, in high school and the Marines were it. Carlos Hathcock, scout snipers, you know, Marines were the chosen few, they were hard. Then they went and they had the Battle of Fallujah, the Battle of Ramadi, and they were hard dudes. Okay, then we had the tragic event with the lone survivor and Marcus Luttrell, and that kind of put, you know, I knew there was Navy SEALs because of Charlie Sheen's movie Navy SEALs, so everybody kind of knew about Navy SEALs. They kind of knew about Delta Force with Chuck Norris, but not really. You know, Lone Survivor comes out, I think that was 2005, and it's like, oh my gosh, Navy SEALs, there's a, you know, tier two. Let's, they're the best. Let's, you know, kind of follow those guys. And then the Bin Laden raid happens. Red Squadron SEAL Team 6 goes in and smokes Bin Laden. Appreciate you guys. And, you know, big win for America. Big win for the world. Like, it was just awesome. And then all of a sudden, we started following this line of tier one operators of CQB, and CQB got sexy. And so we start dressing like them, we start seeing them on, on TV, so we change our chest rigs to what they're using, we change our guns to what they're using, and now we see war as like they were doing it, uh, like tier one, army tier one, navy tier one, where their job is to go in and get high value targets, okay? What we don't realize is there were still lots of other units operating in bigger masses than getting a high value target. So when we hit a high value target, we put a lot of people around a smaller number of people, have a lot of intelligence, they go in, they do the job and they come out. It's not like a war, it's not like a major battle. But we have made it to where we think that CQB is something that you're gonna do in SHTF or without rule of law or whatever you're visioning. America thinks, like the average American, LARPer, tactical guy, airsoft guy, mom's basement guy, whatever you are, you think you're gonna do CQB. So what do we have? We have it all set up. We got the EOTech or the aim point. You know, we've got the short barrel rifle. We've got the night vision. We got the laser. And we think we're gonna go in and do CQB on people. Any operator that you can ever meet, like what I want you to do is start going and asking them, guys who had to do CQB, hey, what do you think about CQB? All of them will say, man, it's so dumb, right? Most of them, if they're not having to do HRT, will say, I just use, would rather use a grenade, right? Like, I don't want to go in there. Some of them will say, look, I'd rather have them come out. Like, I do not want to go in there. People who don't know at all are like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do CQB on these guys. It's going to be so fun. No, CQB sucks. But we seem to think that this is what we're going to do. We seem to think that whenever all of America collapses and whatever you were envision, economic collapse, people shooting each other in the streets, major terrorist attack or the uh, asteroid pole flip. I don't, I don't know what all the things are that you see. All you see is now you dressing up like tier one and, and now you're going in there and I, I, you know, I don't know. Do you see yourself fast roping down like the jungle gym? I don't know. But you see yourself doing CQB. I spent this time in Ukraine. I have a lot of friends that are in Ukraine. They have been there. I have a lot that have been there since 2014 and a lot that are there now. Do you know how much CQB they've done? Zero, exactly zero. They don't do CQB. Americans did that getting high value terrorists. Think about this. We were fighting the war on terror. So our job was to go get terrorists. We just needed to get that one guy or that one guy in his little group. We weren't trying to take over a city. We weren't trying to take over a country. We were just going in and saying, you're a terror group, you're not gonna exist anymore. And we're gonna try to knock the head off of all of these snakes to where we don't have this issue anymore and we can be safe at home. That's not gonna be the case in WROL. WROL is gonna be now you've got a big bunch of enemies that are coming at you from outside in. They're not going in your house to get you. You're not going in a house to get you. Should you know some basics about CQB? Sure, because you may have to go into a building and clear a building out, you know, make sure you pie the corners. You're not expecting somebody to be in there because if you are, you don't wanna go in there. 
Another thing with CQB is when they go in, they go in with a lot of guys from a lot of different directions. They don't go in with one guy. They don't go in with four guys. That's the mistake that you see. You see SWAT cops line up on a door and they either go in with four or seven guys and you think, oh, with my four or seven guys, that's gonna be great. Let's just break a, a police deal down, okay? Dallas SWAT's gonna come get you. You may see seven guys stacked on the door, but there's dudes on the back door, there's dudes covering the sides, there's other cops covering the entire perimeter, evacuating all of the houses so no innocent people get hurt. There's snipers, there's command. There's so many people that are around this one little seven guys that you see that, yeah, that news thing was really great and I know you thought you were gonna be high speed, low drag, clear that corner, shoot the dude in the head and be like, woo, I'm the hero. But the truth is that's just not what you're gonna do. It's not what you're gonna see, it's not what you're gonna be faced with. You might be faced with needing to pie a corner, and you might need to be faced with, you know, doing some knocks and make sure your buddy's there and make sure your rooms are clear. So should you know the basic principles? Absolutely. Should you know how to do it in, in the fact that maybe there's two of you or four of you and there's, a, you know, a hostage rescue situation? I mean, I guess. I, I, do I think you're gonna do it in America? No. Um, but are the tactics bad to have? No, it doesn't hurt you to learn them. But is that the main technique you need? No, what techniques did you need? You need to learn land nav. How do you get around these people? What, what is in my area? You know what's funny is, one of the things I noticed there is you're focused on your house or your street or maybe your neighborhood. Where you should be focused is on your city, your remaining counties, your state right? Or your country. I noticed whenever I would go talk to leaders in Ukraine, they had the whole map of the country up and they're finding, you know, like this city, this city, this city, and then break it down to smaller maps, these points in this city, break it down to smaller maps, these buildings in this city. You're thinking just your house, you're thinking too small, and you're thinking that that's going to be a CQB thing. When you need to be worried about what are they, what am I going to do when these guys are flanking me and they're putting me in an L ambush. They're flanking me over here and I have nowhere to run. How do I get away from them? I'm up, they see me, I'm down. And you're watching one guy, I'm up, they see me, I'm down. And oh shoot, there's another guy, I'm up, they see me, I'm down. Oh, there's another guy. And then all of a sudden they flanked you and you're done. That's what you need to worry about. The whole CQB thing, man, it didn't, it wasn't there. What was there? What did I see? Oh, there are people in this building up here looking at me. Whoa, whoa, why are you looking at me? Right, I got my binoculars. Are you trying to hurt me? Do I need to get behind a tree? Like, where's my, like as I'm walking down the road, where's my quickest tree to hide behind or fence to hide behind or car to hide behind or who's looking at me from miles away that I can't see or with a drone? That was the biggest one. A drone, they, they can see me with a drone. Like we were looking in the sky for drones, right? This is stuff that you guys are missing. You could take a Phantom 4 and be 2,000 feet above you and you're sitting here ready to do CQB and you may be high speed, low drag and you don't exist anymore. Like CQB is really, really cool. It's fun for airsoft. It's cool to do. It is the fun part of being tactical, but it is not practical. So should you know CQB? Maybe. Uh, do you have 20 guys that can do it with you? You know, do you have 20 guys to go in and get one guy? CQB might be worth it for you. 20 dedicated guys. Do you not have that? Do you think that you're gonna see a, what I see as a United States issue happening? Absolutely. An active shooter where you have to go in and get them? Absolutely, that's still not CQB. It's totally different. Principles are kind of the same, but it's not the same, right? Just the idea of you stacking up with a team and doing CQB, guys, it's, it's sexy. It sells all the gear but it's not practical. My thought is spend less time on CQB and start doing patrolling. Learn how to patrol, learn how to take care of ambushes, learn how to get in an ambush, learn how to get out of an ambush. Learn I'm up, they see me, I'm down. Learn your whole city, learn your whole state because more than likely you're gonna be popped from city to city. You're like, well, I know my backyard really well. Well, cool, do you know your neighboring town? Because you may be pushed over there. Also, don't die on your convictions, all right? I'm gonna do a whole nother video about this. So watch the next video about this. This is something that I learned about Americans that, aren't, that we don't share with, with operators and we don't share with Ukrainians or, or Russians all right, or any other military. It's just like an American way. So stay tuned for this next video. It's coming up. Guys, I appreciate you very much. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. Send me some comments underneath. Tell me about what you think you're gonna do. CQB, patrol, long range, sniper. What's your, what's your goal? What's your job? Where do you see this going? Comment on the bottom. Check us out on Patreon. Outlaw out.